1850, William Willis purchased over 100 acres overlooking the majestic Hudson River. The ornate, Italianate, Carnwath Manor and park-like grounds were designed by Andrew Jackson Downing, who designed Central Park and the National Mall. Willis used his property as a summer home to escape the hustle and bustle of New York City, and also as one of the only remaining farms in Wappinger at that time. By the end of the Civil War, a middle-aged, wealthy Union general, George Barclay, bought the villa while Willis moved down the street and constructed Ober Creek Estate, which still remains in the family today. As a gift to his newly married daughter and new son-in-law, Francis Reeves, he sold Carnwath to them to raise their new family and continue the over 200 acre farm. At this point, Carnwath Farms had over 100 farmhands. Reeves constructed a French style carriage house in 1873 and dramatically changed the appearance of the Carnwath Manor to a Georgian style which was preferred by 1800s architects. As for the carriage house, it would hold some of the finest carriages and stable horses in the entire country. By the time of Reeves' death, the Carnwath estate was worth over three million dollars and was inherited by his son, Reginald Reeves. Reginald lived on the estate and continued out his duties as a fine countryman and continuing to grow his father's carriage and large horse collection. Also, he was elected as Wappinger Town Supervisor in the 1899 election, and in 1903, he served on the board of the Hudson River State Hospital in Poughkeepsie and the president of the Dutchess County Courting Club. In 1914, Isaac Untermeyer purchased the Carnwath Estate, then known as Reeves Hill, for over $1 million. Untermeyer, along with his brother Samuel Untermeyer, defended William Boss Tweed, a Tammany Hall political party mayor down in New York City who was involved in several scandals at that time. By 1925, the Order of the Brothers of Hermits purchased Carnwath Farms from Untermeyer and constructed the future Wappinger Museum and Visitor Center in 1927. They also drastically changed the landscape of the property by installing new parking lots, the Francis Reese Cultural Center, which was then known as the dormitory, and the chapel. At this time, the Carnwath Manor was used for Sunday school for the local children, and this was taught by the over 100 friars and nuns that lived on the property until 1980 when it was sold to Greystones Programs Incorporated, which housed and treated severely handicapped individuals. By this time, the Carnwath Manor and the rest of the estate uh, was falling into disrepair and becoming outdated for Greystone to continue to use. Therefore, the property was put up for sale. In 1999, the town of Wappinger bought the property for about $3 million. The 99.7 acres would become a park. It is currently home to the Dutchess County Sports Museum, 
and the future home of the Town of Wappinger Museum and Visitor Center, the Wappinger Greenway Trail, and our newly restored Carnwath Gardens. Carnwath Farms Historic Site and Park is currently open to the public Saturday and Sundays, and cleanups are held by the Carnwath Farms Historic Site and Park Restoration Group every Saturday, spring through autumn, in the mornings. New volunteers are always accepted. Those who are interested in visiting or learning more, please contact town historian Joey Cavasini at 845-298-1150 or log on to www.carnwathfarms.webs.com.